episode of Red Hawk Media. We're in our second uh, piece of the Final Cut series here, and we're taking a look at some basics still. The last episode we worked on uh, importing clips and bringing them in by dragging them in. I'm going to file and going to import media, and that's just kind of a quick recap right there. So today we're taking a look at what we can do with some of these still frame shots that we've got. Uh, the first thing some of my students asked that are high movie veterans was, where's the Ken Burns effect? So we'll take a look at some of that stuff here to get you going. Uh, let's start with the common problem that some of you are going to have with pictures. If not resized properly, you will have this issue where you have black bars on the side of the picture. And obviously that is not a very appealing look for a video slideshow, so we want to be able to get rid of that as quickly as possible. Now there's a couple ways we can go about this. Um, first way. At the bottom left of your video viewer here, um, you've got a couple options, transform, crop, distort, and we're going to look at transform. Okay? And what that will allow me to do is actually transform any clip that is selected. So you can see it brings up the anchor points here. Now if you need yourself a little bit more room, you go ahead and shrink this down in the percentage up in the upper right. And now I can see exactly what I'm doing. Now I don't have to worry about holding shift on this because it automatically drags it uh, proportionately so that uh, it'll show up. Now I've resized it so that it actually fits the area here. Now I can also take it and I can move it to focus in on what I might feel is some of the most important content. So if we go there, rule of thirds, and there we have that. Okay, so you got the idea here of how you can transform. Now another way to do this is, uh, let's go ahead and put this back uh, right about to here, put that down, and roughly back to where it was, and done. Okay, a good way to do this, um, is, which is even quicker, but you still probably will have to move the picture around a little bit, is um, over here, we haven't looked at this yet, we've got this slider button, which is actually the inspector. And anytime something is selected in your timeline, it will show the details of what is selected. So right now I've got this clip selected, and in the inspector it's showing me everything that's going on. If you ever want to get info, you can see... Um, some details about what it is. This picture is actually um, 2956 by 2144, so it's a huge picture. I should be able to resize it without it getting distorted at all, no problems. Now, what we're looking to do is we're looking to fill this space here. So what I can do is I can go to Spatial Conformity, and that sounds like a really difficult concept here. It's not. It's just the space and you're conforming to fit the space. So right now it's fitting, which means that it's fitting the top and bottom, but unfortunately it's not filling, which is what we want. So I'm going to switch it up to fill, okay? And then you can see that I've got this. Now, in here, I can still come in, click on my transform button, and I can still move it around to move to whatever focus I want to have here. All right, you'll notice with transform, you can rotate all of that stuff. So if I did want to rotate this a little bit, uh, just to get a little bit different look out of it, I could do that, and then I could resize it. So a lot of different options that are available in here for fitting your clips onto the screen. Okay, so that's uh, that's kind of the first one here. So spatial conformity, fitting, and transforming. Now the next one, let's start with the basic kind of pan here. Okay, we've got another picture that is got the same problem as before. So right away, I'm going to quickly transform that, okay? and then I'm going to get that to the point where we can see the main part of what's going on here, okay? and then I'm clicking done. All right, so now that's all fit in there. Now, uh, people are asking about the Ken Burns effect, and it does add a nice little feature to your pictures here. So um, we're going to look at something a little bit different this time. We're going to go to Crop over in the inspector and instead of it saying trim we're going to switch that up to Ken Burns. Okay? Now with Ken Burns it automatically applies it on here and when it does that it usually does not pick very good options so I'm going to switch this over to crop so I can see exactly what's happening within this Ken Burns effect. So um, let's go ahead and change my start and stop. So the start is where it's going to begin and then it ends here. The arrow is there to even show you the motion that's going on. And of course that makes no sense that we're starting on his face and then heading south. Okay, so let's go ahead and go more of like a left to right kind of option here. So I'm going to size this down a little bit more. And then I'm going to move that up 
like so. And then I'm going to size this down a little bit more, probably about the same size, so it just does a horizontal scroll here. And we might even start up here a little bit and go like that. So now we've got this motion that goes from left to right, and it's zoomed in, and there's no black space that will be showing up in the clip. If we want to preview it, we go ahead and click Done. Okay, and from the beginning here, you can see that this is oversized now. So if I go back and transform this, we can fit this in here to, oh, bring that down. Not so much that I flip it, Command Z. And then bring that in here. Okay. And now you get the effect of it starting on one side and then going across to the other. Now, I still don't like where it ends, so I'm going to take this and move it up a little bit. Size this down a little bit more. Okay. So that we see a little bit more of what's happening in here. something like that. All right. So now we've got it starting on the left and scrolling over to the right there. So I just created a nice little sweep across there or a pan. Okay? Here's another one. Okay? Just to, to see that process one more time, I can go ahead and transform this up just a little bit. Okay? Then I can go over to the crop feature. All right. Now I click on Ken Burns in the crop feature and we are starting Let's get the start one and move the end out of the way. Over to here, let's say. We're going to start with this actor and work our way across. So we can kind of see what happens there. And done. And it resizes it. And now we've got that. So nice little movement on the picture then. Okay, last one that we've got is more like a zoom feature. I've already set this one up where we're starting in nice and close with a small start box and then we're heading out to the bigger start or the bigger end box and you can see all the space that's there. Okay? So, a few options there, transforming and cropping. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, as far as anything else, oh, uh, if you want to switch the timing up of this, so like if it's moving too slow from left to right, of course you can just adjust the clip length, and now it's going to move that same amount of distance, it's just going to do it a whole lot faster. So if you want to tweak that a little bit, that's one you, way you can do it. Okay, so we spatially fit the picture to the thing, we or to the um, stage, and then we filled it, and now we've got some movement on the pictures as well. And uh, that'll give us a few things to work with here for um, our slideshow. So, thanks for joining us for another episode of Red Hawk Media. Bye.